Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today tracking down all the collectibles you need to get your souvenirs achievement. The first one you're going to find during mission number one, a long day in Dunwall. Once you have dealt with Captain Ramsey, you're going to come to your safe room, crack it open, and once you get inside, you're going to head all the way down to the bottom of the stairs, make a right, head into this little bedroom area, and up on the shelf, you're going to find your first one called Samuel Beechworth Carving. Go ahead and grab that. Now, if you missed this in mission number one, I have read that you can also pick it up when you come back to the tower in mission nine. I've never missed this in mission one and been able to test that, but I did want to point it out. Our next stop brings us to mission number two, Edge of the World. We're tracking down an elite guard helmet. Now, the elite guards are the one in the red shirts. They have little metal helmets on, and that's what you're after. The only one that you find in this mission is going to be found over at the Atomeyer Station. So when you start out in this zone, you're here down by the docks. You eventually make your way up through or around this wall of light and then down here to number four which is Atomeyer Station. This guard, she patrols around the area so keep an eye out for her. As I said, you'll recognize her by the red shirt that she wears. You can either kill or knock her unconscious to get this. It does not matter. But the one thing to note is there is nothing to loot from her body. This is just given to you. It's nothing you're picking up. The other thing to point out about this is that I did do some additional testing with this. And from what I can tell, you cannot get this past Mission 2. I moved on to Mission 4 and tried knocking out an elite guard in Mission 4, and I did not get the uh, collectible there. So I think this is the one guard that you actually need to do this with in order to get this collectible. So just keep that in mind during your playthrough. We're moving on to the next one in just a moment. Our next collectible brings us to mission number three, The Good Doctor. You're looking to pick up a syringe in this mission. That's the collectible item. Now, in order to get this, you are going to have to cure Dr. Hypatia. You're not going to be able to kill her and then simply pick up the syringe. I have tried that, and it did not give me the collectible on my shelf. So just FYI, I'm going to walk you through how to do that just in case you don't know it. If you do, you can go ahead and skip ahead in the video. But when you get out to the Atomeyer Institute, if we go over here to maps and check it out, you're going to come inside and head up to level four and go into Dr. Hypatia's office, grab a key off of her desk. Once you have that key, you head back down to level three where we're at right now outside the recuperation room. Okay, we're on the third floor. You're going to head inside, deal with a bunch of blood flies and blood fly nests that you find in here, but eventually make your way back to these double doors that say restricted area. Once you get in here, head downstairs, and you'll have your first chance to interact with Dr. Hypatia. I highly suggest you just talk to her. Um, it moves the quest along. If you don't talk to her, you have to come back in here and uh, interact with an audiograph machine to move the quest along. But either way, make your way around the back here, and you're going to wind up finding Vasco, who's her assistant. After you speak with him, he's going to wind up giving you a safe code that you need to uh, unlock his safe and find out how to make the cure for Dr. Hypatia. So that's what we're going to go do now. We're going to head back upstairs, out the way we came through the blood fly nest that we've already cleaned up, and then you're going to go down one level. So this is going to be the same area you might have come to if you came to uh, talk with Dr. Hamilton. So you're going to come into this area that says disease treatment. Okay, once you get in here, you're going to head all the way to the back. Unlock these doors. And then through here, you're going to find that safe. So if you look at your mission clues now, you see the safe code is 704. The safe code is going to change every time. So that's not going to be the safe code you have in your game. That's just specific to mine. But we're going to dial in 704 here. And inside, we're going to find his notes as well as a key to his lab that we're going to need. So... We have that. We're going to come over here and unlock this door with that key we just picked up. We're going to head inside, and then we're going to grab this syringe. What you need to do with the syringe is go find a infected body and extract some DNA from it or whatever it is. So if you come over here to this restricted area sign, which is just outside his lab, crack it open. You're going to find this body on the floor. You can use the body. And it will go ahead and extract whatever it's extracting from the body. Now that you have that, head back to his lab. 
head inside here and you're going to use the base serum once it's in there turn on the Bunsen burner that's gonna go ahead and brew up the serum and then you're going to be able to extract it from this glass cup once it drips in there now that we have the cure we're just gonna sneak up on her do a non-lethal takedown that's gonna inject her with the cure and that is what is going to give you your actual collectible. So once again, you really do need to cure her. You can't just pick the syringe up from the lab like I showed you. That's what's going to give you the collectible item for your wall. So we're moving on to the next one in just a moment. Our next collectible takes us to mission four, the Clockwork Mansion. Now for this one, you're going to need to actually be in the Clockwork Mansion. You're going to need to track down a clockwork soldier which won't be hard in the clockwork mansion and what you need to do is take off their head and kill them you can't just simply knock the head off one of these things and run away you've got to at least kill it at the same time so you could find one right at the beginning of the mission honestly it's pretty easy to get rid of their head and then from that point just go ahead and kill them and you will get your collectible. So fairly simple but just make sure you do wind up killing it otherwise you won't get the collectible or at least I didn't. I did play around with that just a little bit. Uh, I didn't get a chance to test this to see if in you skip it here, if in mission 8 when you run into a few more clockwork soldiers if you can get it then but based on how some of the other uh, previous ones have worked my guess is going to be that you need to do it here during mission mission four so just keep that in mind our next stop takes us out to the Royal Conservatory on Mission 5. Once you get out here, you're going to need to make your way all the way over to the entrance to the Royal Conservatory itself, which is marked as number 3 on the map here. So you start down here at the docks, you just need to make your way up through this wall of light, past a watchtower, and then up to the entrance, which is where we are right now. Once you do get up here, you're going to head inside these gates deal with a dog that's on the floor there and then a couple witches that are hanging out out front here and eventually make your way inside as always there are multiple ways to get in this building you don't have to come in the front entrance but once you do get inside here you're going to need to deal with Brianna first in my opinion to get this uh, it's just gonna make it a heck of a lot easier you can um, deal with her in the non-lethal fashion in a lethal fashion it has no impact on your ability to get this collectible but once you do get inside either take the stairs use the elevator or far reach your way up to the third floor that's where we're going so now we're on the second floor making our way around here to the third floor once you get up to the third floor you need to make way all the way to the back which is on the side where the main entrance is right that's where Brianna Ashworth's office is that's where we're going we're gonna head back towards this defaced painting and they're going to make a right into here, past the statue of Delilah, and then up to this next floor. Once you get up here, make a right, and just underneath this painting, you find a glass case. In it, you find your broken whalebone sword. Our next two collectibles bring us to mission number six, the Dust District. So for these, you're going to want to start near the Crone's Hand Saloon. That's where we're at right now. Let me pull up the map and show you. So you start the mission down here near number one. Make your way through this building, speak with Megan, come out here, and then make your way up in this direction along the street. And that's where the Crone's Hand Saloon is. Right now, we are standing just about here on the map. Once you do get out there, though, you want to make your way through these doors and continue to make your way towards Overseer territory. When you get to this point here, there is going to be a shop on your left that is the Silver Graph Studio. You'll notice the door is locked, but it doesn't matter because it has glass windows. So just break out one of the windows, whichever one you want, head inside and over here on the wall is the skiff approaching dockyard that is number one now for number two we're gonna head outside and continue in the direction of the overseers all right we're just outside the overseers offices let me pull the map up once again for you and show you where we're at just in case 
So we went through here, made our way up in this direction, and now we're standing right here just outside the overseer's offices. We're going back here into this building. Okay, so past the overseer's offices, you're going to head around towards this wooden wall. When you get to this alley, you're going to make a left, and then you're going to get on top of this archway. When you get on top of the archway, there is a little uh, recirculation pump or HVAC unit, something like that on the outside of this window. You want to jump up on it and then break out those boards. Head inside, and you're going to find a bunch of rats on the floor that are going to charge you as soon as you get close enough. Shoot them, deal with them, whatever. And then over here on this wall, you are going to find some bricks that you can remove. Now you can drop them, drag them, shoot them out, whatever you want to do. But eventually behind it, you're going to find your next collectible, the Blade of Urbana Trophy. So go ahead and grab that. We're on to the next one in just a moment. Our next collectible takes us to Mission 7, A Crack in the Slab. This one's going to be really easy and quick to pick up. So right after you get out of the Outsider sequence and you grab your timepiece, what you want to do is switch into the past and you're going to be in the piano room, right? So this is right where you were speaking with the Outsider. You're going to head over here to this table and just grab this calendar. It says calendar from 1849. That's going to be your next one. Our next stop takes us on to Mission 8, the Grand Palace. Now for this one, there is going to be one collectible inside the actual Grand Palace itself. You're going to need to make your way across from the train station, down past the Duke statue towards the Grand Palace. Once you do get out here though, no maps are really going to help. You're going to need to track down the Duke himself, not his body double, and either pickpocket his vault key from him or loot it from him, however you want to do that. Feel free to choose your own best option. So, but once you get in here, you're going to be in this dining hall. Make a way around to the right through these doors. You're going to go down these stairs, down another set of stairs, around this corner, and back into this pantry. When you get back in here, there are going to be a couple guards back here. Watch out for those. But then come over here and hit this button. This button is going to cause these walls to recess. You're going to head down through this door, and then you're going to find his vault. Using the vault key that you either looted or pickpocketed from the Duke, you are going to be able to open his vault and get inside. And once you do, if you head around past the quest objective statue, in the back here, you're going to find the broken gazelle ornament. Now, do bear in mind, there is a second exterior entrance to this area. If you come up here... Uh, there's the vault door. I'll show you where it comes out at. So you're pretty much outside the back of the mansion itself. The thing you want to watch out for here is there is this pylon here. There's a clockwork soldier that patrols. So it's definitely not something you want to mess around with too much. Uh, there's a giant dome that's right to the left of this. So I don't want to step out here and deal with this thing. But just FYI, there is a back entrance. I don't really like to use it because I don't like dealing with this pylon and that clockwork soldier if I don't have to. It's easier to sneak in the basement and uh, sleep dart those guards or stun them, knock them out, kill them, whatever you want to do. But we're going to move on to the next one in just a moment. All right, our final collectible brings us to the end of Mission 9, Death to the Empress. Once you get into the throne room, interact with Delilah. She's going to jump into the painting. Now, you have two options or two ways you can collect this. One, you can do it before you follow her into the painting. Or two, you can do it after you come out of the painting. However, if you choose to do it after that, make sure that you go collect it before you touch the statue of either Corvo or Emily, depending on who has been entombed, if that's one of the things you're choosing to do in your playthrough, because as soon as you touch it, it ends the game. But I would suggest doing it after you come out of the painting. The reason being is that you wind up running into a couple grave hounds if you do it beforehand. So it's best to do it afterwards. You just have to not forget. But you're heading back up to your safe room is effectively where you're going, where you picked up collectible number one, the, uh, the boat for Samuel. You're going to head all the way down here, back into that same room, and over in the toilet, you're going to find this doll. 
Go ahead and grab that. That will give you your final collectible and get you your souvenirs achievement. Now, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments section below. I know I uh, gave you a couple caveats with this stuff and some other things that I had tested. I'd definitely be interested to hear what you guys are coming up with in your own games. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.